Hello beautifuls, mabuhai, and welcome to Jay's Nest. Today is Jay's Jabbers, where we just take a random topics from the cloth diaper community and we talk about them. Today we're talking about wool. Specifically, we're gonna talk about merino wool cloth diapers. So when it comes to wool cloth diapers, there are a lot of misconceptions. The wool that I have in my stash is merino wool, and I love it. It's soft, it's stretchy, and y'all know I love soft and stretchy things. So I guess one of the biggest misconceptions around wool is that it's really itchy. And if you're buying merino wool, baby, it is not itchy. It is soft, it has a nice stretch to it. It's one of those fabrics that doesn't feel like it's really tight or suffocating. I actually have merino wool in my wardrobe as well. I got a merino wool bra. I've shown it before, but I'll show it again. I love it, it's really, really soft, and it's very, very comfortable. The bra that I have looks like a sleep nursing bra, which I pretty much lived in for years because I had babies back to back for like 10 years straight. It said that one in every 100,000 people have an allergy to wool. I have heard that sometimes skin irritation can happen due to poor quality wool. So that is something to consider. I personally think if you want to go with wool, you want to try wool, Morena wool is definitely wool you want to go to. Um, Humbird, I'll leave her website down below. She sells a really good Morena wool. She sews them all by hand and she even offers sezzle. Now when it comes to wool cloth diapers, you do have to measure your baby. I suggest measuring your baby in a nighttime diaper is so like the biggest, the fluffiest diaper you have. And that'll show you the size of wool diaper that you want to order. A lot of times, especially with Humbird, you can get them made to order, which I definitely suggest. That way you have a diaper that fits your child perfectly. If I can find the graphic, I'll leave it on the screen right now. It shows you where you need to measure your baby in order to get a size reference for ordering wool. Another really, really big misconception about wool is that it's like a high maintenance fabric and that there's a lot of care that comes with it. To be honest, when it comes to merino wool, you can actually beat it up a little bit do I beat it up? No. <laughs> I don't want to take any chances. I'm very, very gentle with my wool. And when you watch my wool wash video, you'll see I treat it like a baby. I'm just very, very gentle with it because I don't want to mess it up. But people like Bailey from the Cloth Diaper Podcast, she's had some great conversations about wool and how um, people treat it so gently. And you can actually be a little rough with it. I know Heidi from Easy Peasy here on YouTube. I'll leave her channel down below. She makes a lot of videos about wool. She is all about natural fiber cloth diapers and wool diapers covers she loves them she's a great resource for information and she even has a video where she shows putting a wool into the washer not the dryer but into the washer and just kind of how that process goes I have never done it and I will not do it because my washer does eat things and puts holes in things and I've had diapers get holes in them from my washer just getting real hungry and just eating that shit and I'll pass I'll pass maybe I'll eventually experiment more <laughs> with being a little rougher on my covers, but I feel like I need to be gentle with them so I don't ruin them. Another misconception about wool is that it is really hot. That it is just like, you never wear it in summer. It's like one of those winter items that you wear. It's actually great for the summer and it's also great for the winter. Wool is actually breathable. It keeps you warm when it's cold outside and it keeps you cool when it's hot outside. Now I have heard that cashmere specifically, when a wool blend has cashmere in it, that it's a little more warming. So it has like this warming effect to it. So that might be something to consider as you're looking into wool diaper covers. Wool specifically helps wick moisture when it's hot outside and that's what makes it good for warm weather. I feel like merino wool is just like one of those unicorn fabrics <laughs> where it's like it's good it wicks moisture when it's really hot outside but in the winter time it helps keep you warm so it's just it's one of those really interesting fabrics oftentimes I see people using wool when their baby has diaper rashes it's a little more breathable than a PUL cover because a PUL cover is a bit plasticky and PUL and TPU does have this breathable effect to it but not quite like wool does. And the cool thing about wool is your child can wear it as like clothes. They literally come in like the diaper covers, you can get them in little shorties or capris or pants. You can get wool clothing for yourself. It's a little pricey girl, but um, very luxurious. But yeah, those are just some of the common misconceptions and myths about wool and just some of the reasons why I didn't try wool for such a long time because I was nervous to try wool. I wasn't sure what to expect. I thought it was gonna be itchy. I thought it was gonna be hot. I thought it was gonna be really hard to care for. What are some things that you believed or that you still believe or that you're like, you don't, you, you still don't know what to think about wool? 
tell me down below. I want to know what you guys have to say about wool. I'm very interested. Wool isn't for everybody. And I just, I like hearing your guys' opinions about wool and what you think about wool and maybe why you're scared to try wool. And maybe this wool series will help you kind of ease your mind, slide you in to considering wool or trying wool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.